Hey, it's Mark Lanier with your video thought for the day. All right, I'm sitting at my desk and I'm getting ready for the class I'm going to teach Sunday. Uh, Sunday, I'm teaching from Philippians chapter one. And so I'm working through the, the text and uh, having a ball doing it. It's, I mean, ugh, this is so much fun. But in the process of working through it, I decided I've got to film my video thought for the day right now because I've been working on the concept of crowns this week. And, and we've looked in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday uh, at, at some Greek uh, New Testament references to the Stephanos, the crown. Uh, yesterday, Thursday, we looked at a, an Old Testament reference out of Isaiah. But I want to put all of it together today. And I want to do so with maybe one of my favorite passages that deal with crowns, but it's one that, that occurs to me because I'm working through uh, this Philippians passage I'm going to teach Sunday. By the way, uh, if you don't have a place to go to church or you're watching on the internet, uh, feel free to tune in or to show up. Uh, we'd love to have you and you can hear some of this in a fuller manner. But the passage that I want to talk about today is found in Revelation the fourth chapter, and it's in the 10th verse, and it's a scene before the throne room of heaven. Now, a lot of people don't read Revelation because it's, it's got so much symbolism and, and it's a very specific kind of literature that we don't really have that much anymore uh, in, in our uh, general everyday reading, uh, at least not like they did back in the times where it was written and more easily understood but you can still read chapter four and get a very clear understanding that this is a scene before the throne room of, of heaven, the eternal throne room of God. And there are 24 elders uh, in this scene in verse 10, and, and those 24 elders represent um, either, either the, the idea of the Old Covenant and the 12 tribes of Israel, and that would be 12, uh, uh, along with the New Covenant and the, the 12 apostles that made up the church. Uh, but, but regardless, the 24 is very symbolic of, of, of people under the Old Covenant and the New Covenant all together before the throne of God. And here's what they do. They have crowns. They have victories. We talked this week about the, the, the crowns that, that we wear, the, the honor and the, the glory that, that is there, whether it's a crown of righteousness and, and, and God has bestowed upon us a righteousness that's really not anything we earned or deserved, or a crown of life, and it's that life that God has given us, uh, um, the, the crown of, of victory that, that is there because We've been used by God to influence others. And Paul will talk about the crown of joy that, that the churches are for him because they're the emblem that he could wear that shows the, the victory and the honor that, that's been worked in, in his life to the benefit of God's kingdom. All of the crowns that we could ever have, all of the reasons we could ever have for honor and for glory, the 24 elders take their wreaths, their crowns, their Stephanos off, and they throw them down before the throne of God. And here's what they say. They say, worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power because by you, all things were created. And by your will, they existed, they were created, you were the creator of all. We, any crown, anything we've got is ultimately traced back to God. Any honor, any dignity, any blessing, all goes back to God. And he is worthy to receive that glory, honor, and power. Our crowns, the, our honor, our award, our reward, we throw down before him because he earned it, not us. 
I love this. It, it should move me and you and everyone to a place of humility before God where we don't think highly of ourselves, but we exalt and worship and praise the one who is able to work in us. And I'll plug this in Sunday to Paul's passage about how God who began a good work in us will bring it to completion in the day of Christ Jesus where we can then take the crown of complete of, of, of success off and cast it down and give him the credit for it. That's your video thought today. Have a blessed weekend. I'll see you Monday.